Hola, soy la reportera Claudia Chávez. Me encuentro enfrente del sitio médico donde el doctor Casa fue enviado para encontrar la solución para cáncer. En este edificio, él ayudó a muchos pacientes, pero ¿cómo lo hizo? Vamos a ver. A 13-year-old boy diagnosed with leukemia died this morning in what his parents say was a quote-unquote bloody explosion. There were no traces recognizable of his body. This new disease has been coined explosive carcinoma. It's said only to affect people with tumors already in their body. The box is that a virus infects the cancer cells, causing them to grow exponentially until they rupture. Now imagine this happening on a larger scale. The pressures build up in the body, and the chemical reactions cause the body to explode. Bro, this is the work of the devil. 20 is real, or we're all gonna die. The question is, can Dr. Casa cure patients with explosive carcinoma just as he did for regular cancer patients? There are a lot of weird things that happen in that office of his. I think, honest to God, that he has an evil plan in You would have wanted me to continue. I can't do it, Dad. Hey, watch this. Let me get my pills. Cool. <laughs> well, quick. You know that new type of cancer that's been spreading around the country? Well, looks like it's finally here. I don't know, it seems like some kind of media exaggeration. Well, really now? Well, I've been looking at this for a while now, and let me show you a little video that I found. <sighs> oh, God, what was, what was that? That's what's going to happen to these patients. Now, it's your job to go tell them. Um, what are you doing? Go. Go tell them that. And while you're at it, go make me some coffee.
Victor Salazar, I'm sorry to inform you, but you have lung cancer. Oh. Lung cancer? I never smoked in my life. There are numerous ways to develop lung cancer, not just from smoking. That brings me to my next set of news. Look, it's called explosive carcinoma. Your body's going to explode in a matter of days or even less, depending on your body's condition. I'm a physicist, not a doctor. What the hell does that mean? I heard a doctor here has cured many types of cancer, though. Could he cure me? That's true. Dr. Casa has cured cancer, but this type of cancer is different. We haven't found a cure or even any treatments. I'm sorry. So quick, where's my coffee? I'll be in my office. Of course. Every time you come here, you always leave a mess. But you know, that's all right because I was just looking for you. Your timing couldn't be better. Get it? Because you're a time traveler and you go through time? All jokes aside, from the test results that I found, it looks like these patients are probably going to die by tomorrow. Get it? Tumor? Tomorrow? It's funny because it's... Enough with the jokes. I know what's going to happen to these patients. Just give me the blood types and I'll be on line with them. All right, all right. It looks like Mr. Samir Khan is a type AB negative. And Victor Salazar seems to be... Type O positive. AB negative, O positive, alright. Hey, one last thing. Before you leave, next time you come back, would you mind, you know, bringing me an extra sample of the cure? You know, so I could maybe reverse engineer it. You know, I could help a lot more patients that way. You should know by now that I never bring more than I have to. I'm already messing with the timeline being here. I don't want to mess it up even more. Whoa, it looks like our friend paid you a visit. Yeah, he did. And hey, by the way, you're the only other guy that knows about him, so be sure not to tell anyone. I've seen the way you've been eyeballing our new assistant. And I'm going to tell you right now, it's not a good way to break the ice. So, did you ask the traveler for an extra cure? That way we can reverse engineer and find the cure ourselves. No, really? What do you think? I always ask him, but what does he do? He just brings back just enough to save the patient. How selfish. You know, it's funny how everyone thinks you're this amazing doctor that cured cancer, but in reality, you're kind of just a fake. Ow! Oh. Get out!
news, guys. Alberto said he can make the price of the cures go up from 75 to 100 grand. That box held in the laboratory storage area contains about 10 cures. That's a million total, split up into 200 grand per share. Two guys hacking into security, five shares is plenty. Six shares. Don't forget about Alberto. Alberto doesn't care about the money. He just wants the cures. Hey man, hurry up, hurry up. Someone might see us. Are you sure you know what you're doing? Man, this might take me a while. Bear with me. Get ready, guys. We're here. I'm done here, let's go. Wait, what are you doing? No, no! Oh, crikey! Don't shoot me, mate. Hey man, what was that for? One less share. I know Berto told you to do the same. Hello? Do you have the cure? Yeah, it's going great. Stealing the kids' cures. Have to stop them. What the hell? What was it? Don't worry about it. Drive! No. No. Okay. Casa, our patients are going extremely unstable. Well, what are you doing, Crick? Go fix them then, and take your assistant with you. Where's Alberto? You're not getting in without the cure. He's that patient I'm trying to save. Holy!
Wait, I need that girl to save my brother. What's your brother's blood type? Be positive. Thank you. My money. Victor Salazar. There's more at stake here than you know. I don't know who you are, or where you came from, but I'm gonna kill you right now. Let's see who you really are. What's happening? You guys need to fix me right now. Mother of God. Victor Salazar, there's no place to hide. I'm not hiding. It's time to get serious. Get back. Get him out of here. We should have this room clean. Kill me right now. <laughs> Where's he going? I don't know. The disease has already affected his mind. Go after him! What are you doing? Any last words? Wait! Oh, positive, right? What? Your time's up. What's happening? Don't give up on your work.